G'day guys, alright, uh, on today's episode we're going to be attempting to put the carpet in. Uh, we finish off the dynamat and remove the roof liner. and um, we'll start uh, cleaning basically, cleaning all the crap off of it. A little bit of rust here, but I'm not seeing... I'll get my torch out and have a better look, but I'm not seeing much at all. Basically just around this screw, which holds one side of the door handle in. While I'm here, I'll also uh, switch out the door handles that I got from Mog Central. So we'll go ahead and put them in now as well. Um, I won't worry about painting them until I paint the whole door. So uh, let's go ahead and get that done. Obviously, there's a bolt here, a little nut, nylock nut, and a little nylock nut on the outside. All right, guys, I'm just uh, soundproofing the inside of the door. <coughs> I'm also just uh, changing the door handles while I'm here. So I have door locks as I put the electronics into the car, truck. Uh, you want to be able to lock it. There's a glimpse of the carpet. I still got to put those um, edges down the sides and I've got the, <clears throat> as you can see we're just doing up the back wall now just taking out this back piece <clears throat> I tell you what these clips are shit not good you gotta uh, they gotta separate the outer and then this cap pops down an inch and then you can pull the whole unit out. So you gotta separate it, pop this cap out, and then the whole thing comes out. Well, I'll see if I can. I probably won't be able to get it with one hand, but. the worst, worst plugs in the world. I'm going to need two hands. Alright, as you can see, you're just going to pop this out a piece out and then this bit will drop out so a bit annoying but um, let's go and get this headliner out of here all right let's see if this uh, oh we've got one more thing that should just come out with it
hips at the end. got in store for us silicon <laughs> thought it was rust for a second appears we are safe hmm Not bad. Not a drop of rust. A little bit of red dust. A little bit of old glue for the rubber seals, but I'm not seeing any actual rust. So win-win. All right. We've created that of cardboard and the original vinyl. What I think will be a good floor template. Might need some. Uh, Obviously I've got to cut out the gear stick area and um, well, the wind's blowing this a little bit I'll straighten it back up but let's push on and cut this out and just get it done. As you can see guys I'm just slowly working my carpet in and trimming it up as I go fitting it around everything and I'll slowly get it to where I'm happy with it um, I just wanted the floor piece to be just a drop in piece so that it was easy to come out and all that hoo-ha now the, ex the leftover exposed soundproofing um, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to finish that is I'll just improve these lines up here, make sure everything looks straight cut. And on the edges, I've got some uh, right angle, I think it's 35 by 15. It'll go over this edge, rivet back through the original holes. This will be pressed up along this edge, all the way along. And then the wood piece will come down and cover the edge cover the edge of this so it's just just slowly working around and this is what I was talking about with the exposed soundproofing so whether or not I cover this with some um, uh, car builder foam or something like that I might do that but um, for now can just stay like this until I uh, until I decide what I want to do. I may make a piece to go over this centerpiece, you know, and and stitch it down the corners. Um, we'll just see how we go. I mean, I, I do want it to be, you know, used off road, so I don't want to sort of put anything in permanently, I want to be able to rip it all out, even though the soundproofing itself is sort of, you know, uh, 
could trap water, theoretically. I don't think the cab's ever going to go in water, to be honest, and uh, if it did, as long as you let it dry out and it's not salt water, you should be okay. So, um, yeah, I was going to press on and work this carpet in and I'll show you guys the finished product. Just to finish off this video, it's been a bit of a wishy-washy week. Um, I ended up getting a little bit of metal stuck in my eye, so I had to go to the uh, ER and um, get it prodded out of my eye. I didn't notice it there for two nights, so it got a bit rusty as well. Um, so I didn't get much sleep for those nights. But uh, it's out now and it's healed antibiotics this time I'm prepared bought out the old uh, bought out the old vipers should keep my eyes better protected um, just to conclude where we're at we've uh, got the carpet installed the first piece um, we've dynamited the cab um, we put some side trims in for now until I figure out a better option and uh, let me flip you around here. We successfully got a couple of wheels off, ready to go on. We did that with a uh, basically a ratchet snap uh, strap and uh, a bit of carpet on the edge of the tray. Double looped it around one of the tie downs and just let the uh, let the double loop do the work lowered it onto the ground I did unfortunately knock one of my side markers off but no biggie I'll clean that up and um, put a new one back on got the new handles in all lockable very simple to do one bolt there one bolt there nut nuts bolts it's got a little mechanism mechanism inside that when you push button in on the handle it pushes against the lever and unclicks this but when you lock it it moves that lever back so that when you push the button it doesn't have enough throw to push the lever that opens the lock so yeah uh, there's a little bit of adjustment in there but mine seemed to I just tighten them up and they worked as is all the doors are soundproofed got the airline sort of under dash protector back in got the bottom protector in this is aluminium and then I just carried it covered it with a bit of soundproofing but down the road I will have these powder coated but for now I just wanted sort of everything to match and they're as solid as a rock you could literally put two people's weight on that and it won't bend and a flake of that is what got into my eye or well, a flake of the grinding disc not the aluminium um, I still might make up a cover around there and uh, maybe dynamat this piece but I'm going to build like a switch box, switch panel off of it that will connect into uh, the steering arm protector and right now I'm about to make up this wooden piece and carpet it. I've got the two door cards already cut That'll be all in the next video. I'll show you some. Uh, I'll show you some work as I get all that done and carpet it with the glue and whatnot and staples and blah blah blah. I'm not sure what I'm going to do to the roof yet. I'm not sure I'm going to cut a liner or just uh, leave it as is. I'll probably cut a liner, but for now I'll leave it as is. As I've got some electrics to do up there and, and whatnot, so <clears throat> so that's where we're at. We also got the canopy rails back in. And the next video I'll be
cutting the wood and carpeting the last panels in in the cab uh, this week coming I've got the tint going on so I uh, strip across the top uh, the quarters and the back windows will be 25% uh, the two sides will be 35% I think that's the legal way and I think across the top there 10% of the front window um, I'll get a, another 25% up there so um, yeah so we'll be we'll be cutting the interior panels the tint will go in and we'll start throwing the wheels on so that's what's coming up uh, thanks for watching the video and the next video should be coming much sooner as my eye is healed big shout out to all the new subscribers and uh, people on Facebook Instagram who are tuning in uh, means the world I can remember when I was uh, younger and you didn't know how to do something you'd look it up on YouTube and you'd find someone showing you how to do it and it's a brilliant way of learning and uh, if my work can help one person even if you can see you know the inside of a cab or what a mog looks like or how to do the dash or anything in any way it's it's always good to help people out in the YouTube community and, and the rebuilder community it's always good to get little insights of, um, of something you're about to work on before you get it and uh, little pointers that might uh, minimize lost time in your build so um, much appreciated thanks for your support and i'll see you next time thanks <laughs>